more than 100 members of the caravan were camped in a square near the entrance of the San Isidro pedestrian bridge that leads from Mexico to the United States, waiting for their turn to enter the facility. Late on Tuesday, about 30 migrants, who had been next on the list, most of them women, children, and transgender people, anxiously filed through the walkway to the U.S. gate. Two by two, some walked up to a U.S. Customs and Border Protection officer standing in the gate to ask if they might pass through. First to try was a man and his small nephew, a football under his arm, then a mother and child, then a woman with her grandsons. Turned away, they bedded down in a small space pressed up against metal bars separating them from the United States, bundled against the cold under blankets and sheets of tarpaulin tenting. No one knew when, or how many of them, would next be allowed through. Among them was Reina Isabel Rodriguez, who had fled Honduras with her grandsons. Throughout the caravans to, 000 mile odyssey from southern Mexico, the possibility that U.S. officials might reject her plea for asylum, and of being separated from the boys for not being their biological parent, had never seemed so real. Trump's administration, however, cites a more than tenfold rise in asylum claims in the past seven years, growing numbers of families and children, and a shift to more Central Americans as signs that people are fraudulently taking advantage of the system. Trump wants to tighten U.S. law to make it harder for people to claim asylum. For now though, despite his orders to keep such migrant caravans out of the country, International and U.S. law obliges the government to listen to people's stories and decide if they deserve shelter. The U.S. Department of Justice said on Monday it launched prosecutions against 11 suspected caravan members on charges of crossing the border illegally. About half of them are represented by the federal public defender in San Diego, according to the office's chief trial attorney Shireen Sharlick including three women who had planned to present themselves and their children to make asylum claims at the official border port of entry. Nicole Ramos, an attorney advising caravan members in Mexico, said she did not believe the individuals facing U.S. criminal charges were part of the caravan group. Quite a few people have claimed to be part of the caravan, including a sizable contingent of Guatemalan men who were never part, Ramos said.